Hey y'all, it's Stacy from Frugal Living. I'm bored again. And I was just looking at this ceiling fan thinking, wow, this thing is ugly. <laughs> I'll see what I can do to fix this up. So I have some blades off of another fan and some little shades off of another fan. So it's gonna be three different fans in one when I get finished. That's the fan. I don't like that gold, have to get rid of it. And these are the products from the other fans that I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna to use to fix the fan above us up. I took the hardware off of the old fan. This is the portion that I'm gonna paint. And I'm not taking this off. I'm actually gonna paint this inside. I'm just gonna tarp everything real good. And I took all of the hardware off of the old fan blades that come off the other fan blade because these are the ones that I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna use these. They're just more decorative and prettier. Items I'm using for this project are some leftover white paint that I had from another project. I did buy these two Krylon cans from Lowe's and I needed screwdrivers to take the hardware off and the green pad to just kind of scratch up the shiny stuff so the paint will stick better. I don't want to scratch it a lot, just enough so the paint sticks real good. You'd also need a tarp. I'm going to use a tarp since I'm going to be doing this inside to prevent any overspray. I sprayed my first coat on the hardware and the fan blades and I'm just going to let it dry while I paint the inside. I've placed a tarp under the area I'm going to be working in in the house and I have taped off the middle section. It's black and I just want it to remain that color so it'll look more natural. Now I'm going to paint with a brush all of this area so when I spray the paint and make it look more uniform, I won't have to spray as much to prevent overspray. I've painted the base that was gold with white leftover paint that I had from another project just to kind of keep down on some overspray and then I'm going to go back and spray it once it dries so it'll look nice and smooth with the spray paint. I have now put the final coat on the hardware and I'll go inside and spray and wait for this to dry. All right, these are pizza boxes from a project that we did. Um, we made some game boards. I don't have that project video recorded, but maybe we'll make another one one day and show y'all how we made the game boards. But this is going to be my method of preventing overspray in the house. I'm going to get my son to help me and he's just gonna push the box in while I spray that area. And that's how I'm gonna get it done with no overspray. I have the first spray painted coat on there. There was some overspray, but uh, it did good. It didn't get on anything. And my son helped me hold those pieces in to make sure that everything went fine. I'm gonna let that dry and see what it looks like. If it needs another coat, I'll put another coat on it. But since I painted it before I sprayed it, I'm thinking it may be okay. This is the final result of the fan. It's all pretty and shiny and white and new looking.